Hello everybody, Kane here and welcome to another video of Art of Conquest. In this one, we're going to talk about the airship once more. So my opinion in terms of this feature has changed a little bit from the previous one. We're going to have more tips in this. I think some stuff has changed as well in terms of what I would advise people but that is again uh, stuff that I have tested, tried out, in the beginning even spent some Linari as explained in the previous video. So to start it off we're gonna talk about the Intel room which we did not cover before. So in this one we are collecting maps. Uh, how do we collect them? Uh, it is either people send us them for free like this person right now. Uh, I'm pretty lucky because he gave them to me for free without asking anything. Aside from that, we just place these maps right here. And then we fill a bar in terms of this. So to explain this, this person right now has 1, 5, and 7 on the screen. So he has 1, uh, 5, and 7 already equipped on this board. Uh, you're searching them, and if you claim this one, I believe every single day you get an additional map sent to your inventory one hour prior to reset. Aside from that, you're searching, and there are researches that will reduce the time on its, uh, rather on itself, and there are researches which will uh, improve this percentage of these heroes. Aside from that, there are ways to get these maps without exploring, which is acquiring from other people, which you have seen just a second ago, that people gave me two maps. So we have to talk about that in this question mark right here. We scroll down to a four, and it says collect all seven clues to craft a treasure map and activate a limited time exploration. We're going to show that in just a second. However, this one line right after um, kind of, you know, sums up this entire, um, say, room by itself. A maximum of five treasure maps can be crafted within a week, and the limit will be reset on every Monday. So, from my calculations, uh, I think every single person and get enough maps to do two or three limited time explorations. For me, it took, I think, 12 maps, I think, to get one full. But then again, I gave away four maps to other people because I was getting the same thing over and over and over. So getting five maps per week, you should be like extreme level luck um, if you're not receiving maps from other people for free. And I do mean for free. So that one particular section kind of says that if you make alts and those alts are just giving you all of these maps for you to craft this, you're gonna five exploration every single week and it is kind of even advised. Yes, in this case, I would actually advise you to get alts to send people maps for yourself and for your buddies because there is no other way that you would be getting that yourself without taking the maps away from somebody else. Yes, that is pretty much what can happen and what you might want to do is get some alts and the alts giving you those map pieces. So one of the treasure maps I have unlocked and it is called Rare Exploration. So I think there is common, uh, I think Killing showed in one of the group chats, a common one which did not have this Divine Spirit Stone. The Tech Rush was two hour less some less coins and some less resources so uh i do believe that upgrading the intelligence room raises the quality or the chance for higher quality so we have common rare then uh it turns to elder after rare and then elder turns to divine 
So I do believe there are four treasure maps, but then again, um, I'm not entirely sure if level three is the maximum. So we're going to see that after a couple of days, once I'm going to level the energy chamber and then the intelligence room. So after, uh, or rather, um, pretty much the top things to upgrade in this particular uh, feature is deck level four hands down probably the best thing or second best thing to upgrade probably the first one is actually the intelligence room the faster you start the faster you get these explorations the more materials you're gonna be able to grind because if you're able to grind this five times per week pretty much like you're getting almost four or five days worth of rush for research then of course all of this comes into daily materials for crafting and if you luck out better maps probably you're gonna get more divine spirit stones or even other good stuff that you um, cannot acquire easily i suppose because a divine spirit stone as a reward is pretty friggin decent so I commend, uh, I suppose, the Lilith staff actually giving or starting to give those materials for free. And of course, uh, the exploration. I do believe that the further you go, the better the stages get at exploring. These ones you can explore every day multiple times. So if you just want to go ham on one uh, exploration and just quickly level it, I think you can However, these daily ones are actually stuff to go for. And I would advise to go for the dailies probably on most of them. Simplest of reasons is because if you see these two, they have the same amount of time. They have the same amount of exploration uh, experience. However, if you check the resources, it's like twice less than the daily ones. So pretty much works the same for all of them so if you really want to grind some of those resources be aware that the daily ones give a ton of stuff so you likely want to cover that on every single say um i guess uh stage in here and then just go ham on the one you really want Aside from that, uh, we have to talk about the metal shop and the process shop. So I've checked around and really the only things craftable at the moment is the attribute card uh, chest. As I've said before, there is nothing really that enticing uh, without proper lab upgrades. And I think you might be able to get some of these materials back if you do upgrade that. So the only thing that I would kind of value decently is this Draconic Dust. Aside from Draconic Dust, I don't think anything is that good in here. And like most of the other resources should only be used in the process shop. So in terms of the process shop, you're able to uh, craft stuff like this have already crafted i have redone this video a, a second time right now so i'm not entirely sure if i'm gonna get a rebate out of these but it's best to save these resources until your lab research is a lot higher reason for that is you're likely gonna reduce the amount it takes to craft one by like 10 percent or more so this 12 could likely turn to 11 or 10 then you would be able to increase this chance from 10 percent to 20 percent and if you level the ability of uh, the heroes could be that this would turn uh or rather this seven could turn to 10 percent so you would have 20 plus 10 30 percent chance to get some of the materials back so let's try it one time uh we hit it we hit it one time out of the two and we got one material back so that is what is gonna happen with those percentage chances we're gonna raise this we're gonna get one material per 
craft if we do proc it the rebate thing and we're just getting some of the materials back to then craft again to then get a ton more experience so that is why i would highly highly suggest if you don't really require these things right now if they're not going to make a huge difference for you in terms of account realm pvp event wise and all that kind of stuff save these resources for later whenever you upgrade your lab um simply because you're just gonna be getting a ton more resources later than you will get now again that depends on your realm whether you require it now or it would be more beneficial for you to wait a little bit later simply because there are plenty of research uh, rather researches uh, which include um, improve the uh, return chances improve the uh one moment uh process savings which reduce the cost i think this would reduce the cost of those 12 purple or yellow bricks or or whatever for the hero xp uh, by 10 percent at level 10 so essentially we would be reducing one of those materials then of course we have this one which will be upgrading the skills of say even denji so there are nuances where it is just better to wait to upgrade and then of course benefit from the efficiency of just saving that stuff again depends whether or not you can save them for later or again you would be able to use them to a pretty good extent right now aside from that we have to talk about lab and what you should be upgrading so i was testing some of these researches out uh, and from my like knowledge and stuff like that, metal working savings not that useful. Uh, metal working improvements not that useful. You don't have almost anything to craft at the metal shop. Pretty much you're crafting the hero stat cards, and that's it. So if you want a little bit faster stat cards, sure, but that is not really what you should be aiming for so i would suggest energy improvements one energy improvements two and what will that do is you're gonna have tisophin always doing at the max level of 18 percent and you're gonna have valerie at 16 percent doing it all the time as well if you go for the next one likely avril turns to 20 percent so is like she's gonna be better than valerie but then again, that lab research would take, uh, I guess, uh, one moment. Uh, where is it? Uh, 11 hours. So that's 11 hours throwing for um, maybe 0.2 more hammers per hour. So that would be like five additional hammers per day. So it really depends if you value that more then say upgrading like intelligence which i am doing right now because um in the previous video i didn't really have this i didn't explain this i thought it was dragon maps apparently it's a lot better so personally i would just rush the intelligence things um as you can see here i leveled one of them right here and uh, i'm leveling this one right now and i'm likely gonna level this a little bit as well right after and then go for improvements in terms of the research so um aside from the energy which we don't really require at tier 4 research we actually do because as you can see this uh one moment this 11 or 12 hour research consumes only seven energy or seven vigor however upgrading this small one also like takes away a lot of vigor so to level this a couple of times we're pretty much exhausting like one entire hero so having uh, more heroes being able at the ready to help you research stuff is is pretty pretty decent 
so yeah that is i suppose what i would suggest i mean you could um go for a few levels at airship building energy recovery speed i mean that could also be useful if you level this to level 10 which likely i would not advise very early you would gain um 10 percent, so that would be 1.2 more hammers per hour but then again it really depends on the max levels of this particular airship i know they're likely gonna be more buildings dormitories you don't really require all of them at like level five from what i have noticed is that a couple of dormitories perhaps if you upgrade them to higher level uh to level two three four or whatever um at the moment they will be able to do everything you require like even a level two and a level one gives me enough to sustain all of these levels i mean i'm gonna upgrade mela shop to level three eventually level three eventually and that's gonna fill in the last two for the quota in the dormitory the only thing you need to remember is you have to place one healing hero in one of them and another healing hero in the other one so they're getting 1.2 vigor per hour and in this one uh 1.35 vigor per hour so you don't even need an entire day for them to regenerate fully and when some of those heroes are in the bridge people are spending a lot less vigor as well because this hero wasn't here for likely more than half a day like we're talking maybe 15 16 hours and still has 11 hours to go so some of these bridge heroes can pose a lot of value as well so it really really kind of depends so um if you would ask me what are the best buildings hands down to upgrade i will tell you deck probably one of the top ones if not the top one then intelligence rooms because you're gonna be getting a ton of those materials from intel room as well aside from these two lab is incredibly important incredibly important like you require to research stuff faster you're gonna get those percentages improved all of that kind of stuff literally three buildings determine how well your airship is course other buildings are giving you some stuff are regenerating your heroes providing you hammers and whatever but like upgrading your energy chamber uh i tried to test it for as high as possible not really that efficient if you have not hit the cap on the energy etc so that is i suppose pretty much it everything else is the same as my other video for now uh, i have talked about research talked about intelligence room i have explained about the alts benefiting people i already sent one alt into my realm i'm waiting for another alt to get banded so he can clear void to level 20 to then be able to buy maps and stuff yeah that's also a thing so if you buy maps you can even get level 15 alts sending you maps as well that's again a thing and again five per week of these things incredibly incredibly important that you should not miss out it's just free stuff that you would be throwing away anyways that's pretty much it for the video hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you learned something new if you did do hit that subscribe button it would help me out a lot as well as if you would wish to support me more than just watching my videos i have made a patreon page where you would be able to do just that in return i would be able to help you out more individually in terms of events pvp formations and stuff like that as well as i would like to thank all of my patrons for the support i really really appreciate it for your subscriptions thank you guys so much thanks for watching take care and stay safe out there